This is one of the best parts of the Botanic Gardens. Uh, it's along the back side of it uh, where bikers and runners go through. Uh, the service vehicles come by here on this road too. I've come here to read, I've come here to draw, um, and it's just a, a great place to, to get a great view. And there's usually ducks hanging out. It's very enjoyable, so we're here to share this with you. And I, I uh, agree, this spot is, is meaningful to me as well. Uh, I know in the last video, if we even post the last video because it was such a disaster, I talked about the Glencoe Golf Course, which is right here, and it's the, well, there's a sign there, but I'm pretty sure it's the sixth hole, but you can see, playing this hole, you're overlooking right here, so, I mean, from the time I was a kid, all the way through, this is the piece of the Botanic Gardens that I always have in mind, because this is the piece that I see. For sure, yeah. Uh, and then, of course, riding bikes through here. And, and it is free, so you can walk through here, you can ride bikes, the expense is parking. So if you're not parking or you're doing a longer hike, you can park at the Skokie Lagoons and hike through here from the lagoons. Uh, you wouldn't have that, that fee. Of course, it's nice to support the Botanic Garden. I love this, just all these different types of trees that somehow make it through the winter. Your osprey is showing. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. What? <laughs> Which part? Uh, I just did a play on the, uh, your epidermis is showing. Yeah. Yeah, your osprey is showing. Yeah, hey, you got me tweaking. Yeah. <laughs> Dad joke. Can birds see in color? Doubt it. If dogs can't, then... Well, totally different breed. I mean, dogs are about as close to birds as we are. Maybe they see in one color. <laughs> I don't I mean, know. it'd have to be you seeing something in color because their feathers are for attraction purposes, not for, well, in a lot of cases, mm -hmm. not for camouflage. Some are obviously for camouflage too, but. That's a good point. I just know that humans have three color accepting right. protons, RGB, uh, not protons, rods uh, proteins. and cones. Yep. And dogs have two. Okay. And butterflies have five. Ooh. And the animal with the most is the mantis shrimp that has 27. So What it, the heck is he doing with all those? It, it's dimensionless. I mean, it's seeing in the future. Yeah. <laughs> it's seeing its own future. Yeah. The mantis yeah. shrimp is a crazy example of nature. Wow. 27. Where did you come up with that? I got interested in it at some point in my life. The mantis shrimp. Yeah, so if the difference of one color recepting protein is every color that we can see, you know, what's five look like on a butterfly? Yeah. The difference, yeah, the difference from two to three, black and white to color, and then three. Would they get onto like infrared and I imagine, ultraviolet? I imagine they would. Um, so, like sonar, I don't know. <laughs> Like, Why not? Bats have it. Right. Uh, well, echolocation, yeah. sonar. Um, but would that be a color protein? I just, I can't picture it. How do you... If anybody knows the answer <laughs> to this, please. If you are <laughs> a seeing in four color four proteins. protein <laughs> expert, please comment below oh. and tell us uh, an example of what that, of a way to conceptualize that. Because yeah. I can't. Is it uh, 
Rick and Morty where it's just dimensional or is there time travel involved as well? I imagine if you have 27 or 28 of them, there's got to be all that. Let's see the guy tee off. Oop, practice swing. Well, your grip's got to be pretty wet. I would not call from this weather. Seemed to hit it pretty well. I think he hit it exactly the way he would, anybody would hit it in the rain. You can uh, you can adopt mantis shrimp. You can raise those at home. Like I follow someone on TikTok that has a pet mantis shrimp. Would it be able to see if you're blushing or if you're lying or if you're happy? Like the heart, like, your heartbeat, yeah, your, yeah, vibrations and. I mean, the only special thing that I know that it does is it cracks. Uh, it, it has like like a battering ram attached to it that can crack like snail shells and and those exceed like 160 miles per hour like as fast as you really know a lot about a mantis shrimp <laughs> i like them I have do. you ever eaten one no are I they just, good eating i don't think so they're like clownfish or like uh what are those blowfish poison? yeah they're like poison what? they look poison i don't think they actually are. I wonder what 20 how many 27 27 i wonder what that tastes like <laughs> probably really good <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> really gets the taste buds going. <laughs> <laughs> you you haven't eaten until you've had 27. All right, all right. Enough humor at the expense of the what's it called again? Mantis shrimp. Mantis shrimp. All right. Good history. Good uh, trivia. <laughs> good something. <laughs> all right.